person receiving the light <coughs> gets it from them, just as we just did it. And so now everyone has a candle, and we will pass it on. because it's time to blow them out. Oh. And it just did it all on its own. It <laughs> wow, this is, a, this is amazing. This well, is a night to we, remember. We don't want to set the place on fire. Oh. The memory of Marquita is alive and well. Okay. Reverend Marquita almost burned us down on numerous occasions. Oh, oh, I, oh, I'm sorry, but I remember you being at the end of one or two of those flames. <laughs> well, I didn't get wax all over. <laughs> oh, I have. <laughs> yes, you have. Yes, I have. Uh, we're still get, trying to get it out. Um, <clears throat> now, let's be serious. We're, I was asked earlier this week, why do we celebrate Christmas. In this philosophy, we don't necessarily follow all of the tenets of some Christian philosophies and belief systems. Why do we make such a big deal out of Christmas? And I, it paused me. I, I had to think about it. Why are we making such a big deal about Christmas? Because we really don't come here to celebrate the birth of our Savior. We instead are here to celebrate the birth and rebirth of our awareness of that light within one another, that light being the presence of the divine. And so as I contemplated that, I looked in our uh, CSL directories, and I looked through the the online thing to see just how many places in the country were having a Christmas Eve service, and there weren't that many. Most of the services were having their normal service on Christmas Day tomorrow. Uh, and probably a third were having both. We're in a minority having only tonight. It seems to me there are two things that I kind of, <laughs> it's a musical night, what can I say? Two things that are germane to this, and this just came to me. One of them is one of the teachings of Jesus, the great teacher, the way shower. And as he entered Jerusalem, he performed a, a series of miracles. And what he repeated more than once it is, it is done unto you as you believe. And I think if we looked at that in modern terminology, the way we look at it, the message that comes is 
thoughts become things. Your thoughts are creative. What you think and what you believe is what comes to be. And at this time of year, when the veil is thin, when we are closer to that time when we're closer in touch with nature and with our own true nature, we are closer to those very things that we embrace. Light, love, peace, joy. It's appropriate that we gather together in community and laugh. We can laugh at each other and laugh at ourselves in joy. A time of love when we can truly see beyond all of our differences and love one another and the return of the light. Peace. In previous Christmases, I have talked about the Christmas Eve, 1914, World War I, when the German soldiers stepped out of the trenches and bravely walked into the no man's land between the two opposing sides and began singing Silent Night in German. And the British soldiers put down their arms and joined him. And World War I was on suspension for some time after that. The Germans didn't want to talk about it, and it took an American journalist all the way until January 31st, or December 31st, to get the word out of this miraculous happening. And the major part of that war didn't even resume until March and April. Peace on earth. And we have it within us. If we believe this, we can create this. Ernest Holmes wrote, There is a law common to all people which responds to every man's belief in life at the level of that belief. No man can be happy who lives in a continuous state of condescending, of condemnation of people, conditions, and things. We must learn to praise and not condemn. That's so powerful. And at this time of year, it's certainly appropriate and easier for us to do. And the second thing that I want to address tonight is the practice of giving of gifts. This is a, a magnificent and beautiful tradition, practice. If we have a belief system that is in lack and limitation and not enoughness, it's extremely difficult for us to step into this tradition of giving gifts. But when we do give, no matter how small, no matter how seemingly insignificant, it opens a floodgates for something greater. We can step into the feeling of abundance. It is that belief system in lack and limitation that has created the wars, that has created all of the discord. It's this belief that there's only so much to go around, whether it's money, whether it's crops, whether it's anything, that there's a finite amount and I have to cheat the other guy, kick him down, knock him down to take his away so that I get my share. And in that belief system, we create all of the things that we don't want. But when we can give whatever we have, it opens those floodgates to be passed on from person to person. And so it is with an awareness of the omnipresence of God, spirit, whatever name you're comfortable with, however you recognize a higher power, 
when we recognize that, we are able to do wonderful things. And so with that understanding, I invite my colleagues, the practitioners, the congregants, everyone here, everyone who is watching online, and those who are watching it at a future time, I invite you to hold that awareness of the good and the God in everyone. Even the politician you don't like, even the, the people that you feel separate from, I invite you to put that aside and see their light. And so it is with this understanding that we recognize that all of these things in this world are effects. That, that this thing that we call war that's going on in the Ukraine right now is terrible effect. It's real. We don't deny that, but we also know that at our core, as human beings, we have the ability to step outside and walk into the no man's land and begin to sing Silent Night. We know that at our hearts, we are beings of peace. We know that as we go through this thing called life, it's a lot more fun, it's a lot easier. Everything is better when we can laugh and we can do this with joy in our hearts. And we choose joy. We know that just as assuredly as the sun's going to come up tomorrow, that tomorrow is going to be longer than today. And that days will continually get longer and light increases. And for anyone who is feeling separation, separation from one another, separation from God, separation from their own higher power, I just simply know that it is impossible to be separate because that infinite presence is within each and every one of us at all times. And we know that love casts out fear. And so we just give thanks. We give thanks for our awareness of that power, that presence that we call God. We give thanks. Now we just step back and know that there is something wonderful happening this night and every night. We let it go, we let it be, and so it is. And so it is. supposed to do the collection but you know <laughs> just put a basket and we'll have a love offering if you 
decide to step into that law of circulation if you decide to live in that generosity uh, you're invited to do so but don't think you have to that's for sure and with that we'll have a benediction and then we get into the meat of the program <laughs> which will be the fun part oh so the benediction now yeah, yes gotcha I am your conscience. <laughs> Every everybody needs a Bob and a Judy. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so our benediction coming kind of halfway through our program tonight because there's a lot more to come but it was let us just continue to step into uh into this night let us step into this night as people of faith people of joy let's step into that feeling of abundance tonight as we continue this holiday celebration. Open your hearts. Stop to help. May your voice ring out with joyful greetings. Give away smiles and follow up with hugs for tonight, this night. We are one. And we are absolutely draped in gratitude for family, for friends, for music, and for just creating laughter. So help me anchor this by saying, and so it is. So we absolutely invite you to join us for the singing parts of this, and you'll see we're going to intersperse it with our tale of the Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled in for a long winter's <coughs> nap. On the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the sutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. Up on the house top, reindeer paws, out jumps old, old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys, all for the little one's Christmas joys. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on the house top, click, 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 down through the chimney with good St. Nick. With a little old 
old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them my name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Rudolph the red dog's reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to clap and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you prove my sleigh tonight? Then all the bells would go down, as they shut it up with glee. Yippee. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in his story. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. Ooh. <laughs> Here comes St. Here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Vixen and Blitzen and all his reindeers pulling on the reins. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. Sing your stockings, say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard of his chin was white as the snow. Deck the halls with piles of folly, fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. Down we now are gay apparel, fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient yuletide carol, fa la 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 la. Fast away, old year passes. Fa la 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 la. Hail the new ye lads and lasses. Fa la 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 la. Sing we joyous all together. Fa la 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 la. Heedless of the wind and weather. Fa la 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 la. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, 
Up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain, as ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <clears throat> to all and to all a good night.